Hi, this is Adam. This is another IOP North Carolina vlog. We're here in Raleigh, North Carolina at ArtSpace. I'm really excited to be here. I'm here with Development and communication, Communications Associate Mary Kay Kennedy, who's going to tell us more about all the great artwork here. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for coming on. Um, yeah, so this is ArtSpace. We have been here in downtown Raleigh for 30 years. We just celebrated our 30-year anniversary last year, so very exciting for us. Uh, and we are a nonprofit. Our mission is a little different than other places. We really want to get people to experience the creative process. So we're, uh, while we love the final product, we love the finished piece of art, our unique building has 30 artist studios. They're working artist studios, so the public is invited to come in to really experience how art is made and created. We also offer art education programs. We want people to get their hands on it. We want people to actually make art themselves. Um, and really sort of learn about that process. We find that learning about the creative process enhances people's experience of that finished product. So they have a better understanding and a better value of what art can bring to their lives if they understand how it's created and made. Well, we have three exhibition spaces and the exhibitions change out about roughly every four to six weeks. So we always have new exhibitions going on that people can come and see. Um, our artist studios, we actually have two artist studios that are reserved for um, a residency artists. So it's a program that we offer to emerging artists. They can come in, they get six months of studio space for free. So every six months, those two studios will change out and new artists will get the opportunity to come and work in the building. All of the other artist studios um, are rented by the artists and they have three year lease terms that okay. they go by. So. And uh, the general public can come in and purchase as they, as they like when they come into art space. Yes, absolutely. All of our artist studios feature working professional artists. They also work directly out of their studios. Um, as a nonprofit, you know, we do also want to support our artists. So we do not take a commission from the sales of studios. Um, we take a commission from exhibition sales and quarter sales in our gift shop. But every purchase that's made from an artist, all that money goes directly to the artist. Great. Kind of elaborate the room again that we're in right now. It's so beautiful. There's so many great art artworks here. Sure. Yeah. This is our gallery two space. It's our upstairs gallery space. Um, right now, um, Ambiore Santos is the artist that we have on view. He's an abstract artist who works in a lot of different mixed media. We have curatorial themes that go for um, all of our exhibition. And then downstairs in our book art show, um, it's called Refuse or Refuse. Um, and it is all uh, part of the Triangle Book Arts group. So members from that group came in and they all took books and different things that could be, you know, paper objects and things like that and they repurposed them into some of these really amazing books. And the public is invited to come in. Lots of the works you can touch and handle. We have gloves on site so you can open them up and read them. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool. Welcome to my studio and gallery. I'm Paul Gala. Um, I've been at ArtSpace about four years. I've been a professional artist for about 22 years now. And my work is kind of unique. I tend to work entirely on aluminum, although I still will work on canvas and sometimes board. And I am a reductive style artist, so I work with a lot of color and I tend to do almost a sculpting technique where I remove as much paint as I put on. We come in and we look at this piece. There is no white paint in this painting. There's actually just a lot of Indian yellow, a lot of red, and then I will come in and let's say this was a massive red. I'm actually coming in and sculpting away paper, uh, paint with soft tools. Anything that would be rubber, something that can not scratch the aluminum, because the aluminum itself is a white baked enamel. Um, and I move into different things. This is another seascape type thing. Same technique. There's really no white paint in this painting. This is just me rubbing down to that um, white baked enamel leading some Indian yellow um, and just moving through different techniques. Here's another landscape, same technique, um, working my way back, finding trees, finding rocks, finding the water, and just finding a, a way to make an illusion and take people on a journey of mystery. But again, there's no white paint. It's working it down. Again, here a little kind of a storm circle. Just again, no white paint, just finding, sculpting, shaping, moving, changing the direction of things. Florals, love them, absolutely love florals. Same technique. Great. So I have a rainbow palette going on right now. I've got blues, greens, yellows, oranges, reds, purples, and a big hunk of white. And right now I'm mixing colors for this piece that I'm working on. I'm looking to bring out some lights. 
and so I'm mixing some warm light colors um, because I have to have my palette balanced before I can make a balanced painting. Yeah, this piece is part of my new architecture abstraction series. And so um, right now I've got this cloud kind of going through and covering, obscuring part of the building. And so um, I'm working, I'm playing with like foreground and background. And it's really fun. <laughs> so this is the studio of Anna Padres and Keith Norval. Um, they're a husband and wife artist pair that have a studio here at Artspace. Um, Anna works in oils and in caustic, um, and Keith works primarily in oils. And they both do very um, sort of whimsical, fantastical paintings, lots of character development, lots of imagination, um, lots of the thoughts that are in their head being put out in sort of a playful way, but also with some serious commentary thrown in here and there um, about issues that they care about. So it's really a fun studio to visit. There's a lot of fun pieces in here. Um, and it's also a great studio to come and see the process because they're always in here working. Um, and sometimes Anna has the encaustic palette going with the um, hot oil or hot wax on there. And then sometimes they have the oil palette that they're working with. Okay, so this is our show in Gallery 1. It's our main gallery downstairs. This show is Refuse or Reviews by the um, Triangle Book Arts Group. So they're a group of people who really um, want to explore what book art means. And what they've done with this show is they've taken sort of discarded materials or materials that might not be valued as much and really transformed them into these beautiful works of art. There are over 40 artists that are represented in this show, and many of the works are tactile, so you can come in and touch them, read the books, look at them a little bit closer, which makes it a really fun show to come in and see.